In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create musical cymbal swells and reverse cymbal sounds that you can use in your productions. Within Superior Drummer 3, I'm going to open up one of the presets. We're going to go to the Daft Touch preset, and we will use this preset as a starting point. If I go into the mixer, we already have a few effects. We have some reverb, filter delay, and really a nice drum sound already. What I'd like to focus on is the symbols, specifically these two China symbols on the left and right, and this crash symbol on the right side, right above the ride. We will use each of these symbols to create a symbol swell and symbol reverse effect. So let's jump into the mixer and let's add some effects to the overhead microphone channel. I'm going to add a hall reverb. We will increase the reverb time to just under three seconds. We'll add a pre-delay of about 120 seconds and we will adjust the dry wet mix to 30%. Now we can enhance this further by simply adding another reverb effect. We'll use the inverse reverb and we will actually use this in its default state. And this will add almost a delay or an echo effect to the cymbal sound. So you get the initial cymbal sound and then the inverse reverb. So you almost have another build that happens after the initial cymbal hit. Next, we'll take the two chinas and adjust the envelope so that we don't have as much attack and the sound of the cymbals fades in. So for the china stack on the right, we will adjust the attack to about 635 milliseconds. You can see now we have a nice cymbal swell and a nice tail with the reverb that we added to the overhead channel. For the China on the left, we'll do a bit of a slower fade in. So we'll use an attack setting of 2000 milliseconds or roughly two seconds. Next, we'll take this symbol on the right side above the ride symbol, and we will use the reverse setting within Superior Drummer 3 to get a reverse symbol sound. Now we already have the hall reverb and inverse reverb applied to this symbol as well. Let's also adjust the envelope and we'll make this a slow fade in as well by adjusting the attack and maxing it out at 2000 milliseconds. But we want a reverse cymbal sound. So we'll use the reverse setting. And if we leave it in default, this is what it sounds like. So it's a very quick reverse cymbal sound. We want to extend that out. So we are going to increase this to about 11 or 1200 milliseconds. Now we have a very nice reverse cymbal sound along with the hall reverb and the inverse reverb. So we have three different cymbal swells and reverse cymbal sounds here. We have our stack cymbal with the shorter fade in. We have the China symbol on the left with a longer, more subtle fade in. And then we have our reverse symbol. Again, we're using the envelope to fade the symbol in. We still have the hall and reverb effects. And then we're just using the reverse setting and increasing the reverse amount to get a nice reverse symbol sound. So those are a few ways you can manipulate your cymbal sounds to create musical cymbal swells and reverse cymbal effects within Superior Drummer 3.